Hey everyone, Rayo here, and today I am just going to be doing a video talking about taking initiative. Uh, so if any of you are familiar with uh, my channel or my guild or what I do on stream or whatever, um, I am the head of Mistlocked FOTM in NA and EU, and we just focus on teaching fractals and uh, teaching raids and stuff like that, any sort of endgame PvE content. We've been around for a few years. And uh, our whole goal is to kind of help get over that initial um, not having enough KP to join a group uh, out of that kind of like weird situation where you need KP to join a group, but then in order to get KP, you need to do the content that you can't join because you don't have KP. I know it sounds like kind of confusing, but if you're in that situation, you kind of understand what I'm talking about. That's the whole point of Mistlocked. That's kind of the whole point of like the guild being created uh, a few years ago. And um, but one thing I wanted to kind of talk about there is that the um, I've been I've been teaching a lot, and every once in a while we'll get someone in the guild or in our Discord or something that's just kind of almost like expecting us uh, to teach them like they are like they deserve our time to teach them and so I kind of wanted to speak on that because I feel like um I notice this a lot more so when I stream how um like sometimes people will come in and chat and sometimes I'll see this in like guild chat sometimes I'll see this even in map chat or just general talk about how there's never enough training groups there's never enough this there's never enough that and I just wanted to say that of course there's never going to be enough training groups if people aren't forming them and I'm not saying like people who are willing to train them. I'm saying people who are wanting training but don't see training groups are not making their own groups. I hear so many people say how there's not enough content being run for people with no KP, uh, but they'll they'll never take the initial they'll never take the initiative. Sorry, my phone is ringing. They'll never take the initiative to to start their own group on the LFG. And the excuses that I hear for that. Um, it's just like that people don't want to run content with people who don't necessarily know what they're doing, which is kind of ironic because that's the whole point in learning the content is to figure out how to do it. And that's the same exact mentality that people who are listing with KP requirements for their group have that these people have a problem with. So it's just, it's just kind of like a frustrating situation. It's, well, I mean, it's not really a situation that I'm involved in because I'm actively doing something about it and my guild is actively doing something about it and the trainers and officers and instructors in my guild are actively doing something about it multiple times a week, every week consistently. So it's not something that necessarily, um, like, I am really involved in. It's just, it's, it's frustrating to see that mentality that, um, that, People will say that there's not enough of X, Y, Z for them to participate in, but they're not creating their own opportunity. And so really the whole point of what I'm trying to say is, is I think one thing that we really need to start adapting in the endgame community or like adopting is um, we need to just take initiative. And this even goes for like open and open world meta maps and organizing stuff like that. I see like a kind of like a lesser parallel is People will all join in on one organized meta map, 15 minutes, like say Octavine, they'll join in all on one organized meta map. But um, if there's, if that map is full, people will keep trying to join in on that full map more often than trying to take the initiative to tag up in another map and start us an overflow map. More often than not, if they can't make it into that initial map, it's just failed in their head, like in their mind. Um, not to sound like blunt or rude or anything. It's just, it's, that's like a crippling mentality to have. So when it comes to like learning content, you have to take initiative at some point because like my, my experience with CMs and tier fours or really just my experience with Guild Wars 2 in general is when I started this game, I was not, uh, I was not good for years and there's still many areas in this game where I really lack. And I've played this game way too much. Like, I, I spent way too much time on this game, if I'm to be honest. But um, for the first, like, two years or so, I, I, I never really had more than 15, 20 gold in my gold pouch at any given time. And as soon as I did, I bought stuff off the trading post. I had horrible spending habits, and I wasn't making gold to, like, max my crafting, make any gear. 
It literally took me over a year to craft my first ascended weapon. I didn't do anything regularly for money. I didn't farm any resource nodes. I didn't do any fractals. I didn't do anything. And it took me a while to actually understand how the game functions. And then once I geared my character, like once Heart of Thorns came out a year after Heart of Thorns, I made a Revenant. So I, at that point, I've been playing like three years or so, three, four years. I made my Revenant fully ascended. And then I started building up my AR. But I was still starting in tier ones. And I was so hesitant to jump into fractals. But I was too nervous to ask my guild. Which, side note, if you never ask a question, the answer will always be no. So that, that's also another mentality to kind of like adopt or kind of like a mindset to adopt. If you never put your requests out there, if you never ask a question, if you never X, Y, Z, if you never say anything, if you never voice it, then the answer will always be no. So you can't blame the community. You can't blame other people for things not happening if you don't voice your desires. So in this case, I never voiced my desires. I was just thinking, well, I just kind of want to jump into it and I want to get learning it. And so I just started jumping in the LFG, running with random groups every single day, committed to doing it every single day, ran into a fair share of buttheads every single day. And so I just jumped into it and eventually like here I am a few years down the road and I'm running this, I'm, I'm leading a guild that teaches this content. And I just, I, it, it took an, it, it took like me just like breaking past my own barrier to actually get into this content. And now that I'm on the other side of it, I'm kind of just thinking it really wasn't that hard. Um, it, there was a lot of frustration, I will say, but there was also a lot of learning. And I think a lot of, a lot of frustration also comes from not knowing the answers to situations that pop up. Um, and to give an example of that is like in PVP, I get a lot more frustrated in PVP than I do in PVE because in PVE, when something goes wrong, I know what the answer is. I know what, I know what went wrong in fractals. In PVP, it's hard for me to tell whether something's my fault, their fault, my team's fault, or xyz's fault or i don't know it's tough for me to pinpoint what the problem is and so i get frustrated because i can't figure out what the problem is and then i have my team fussing at me i have the other team maybe calling me a noob or whatever and it's just frustrating and so that's how i was in fractals when i first started out because of my lack of knowledge and i'm not saying everyone lacks knowledge please don't take it the wrong way just don't take it that way it's just i see a lot of people even in my own guild and not that I necessarily condone, condone this like men, like this attitude, but I see a lot of people in my own guild even just say how pug groups suck. I can't stand that, by the way. can't stand when people say pug groups suck. I don't like it when people try and place blame on other people for doing poorly when they themselves are probably the reason why they're doing poorly. I don't like it when people try and place blame on others. Um, and so I definitely don't like it when I see it in my own guild, and I don't like it when I see it in Discord, but teach like everyone's their own person so i'm not going to control who they are but um i don't know you just you just when it comes to getting into end game content you have to take that initiative and i would say out of out of like most things that you can kind of go through um in life i would say like if you were to apply that kind of logic to like the game like a game it's safe to mess up in like it's a game it's like an online game like you can like you can make a mistake in a game. It's not going to really have any real life consequences. Like, like if I go into a fractal and I die as a heal brand and someone says I'm a crappy healer, that's not going to affect how I do it. My job. Like, I mean, that might, that might hurt my ego a little bit. That might hurt my feelings, honestly, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty, that stuff would get to me for sure. But it's not really, it's not going to make any big difference in my life outside of the game, you know? So when it comes to, I would just, I would just, I just highly encourage people to just take initiative, just take initiative, jump on into the content that you want to learn and expect to fail. And the more you fail, the better you're getting. I know it sounds backwards, but like the more you fail, the more you realize what's not working and what you need to do to make it work. And just also to give a little bit more perspective, like I run CMs daily, well, pretty much daily. Whenever I log on, I try and do my CMs and tier fours. And I've, I've had to spend hours failing at ARC. I've had to spend hours failing at I or AI, what, however you say the new boss's name. And I've had to spend hours failing at Encelus. Like, it's just a time investment. It's hard content. You're not going to get it overnight. And people who say it's easy, like, good for them, but maybe they're a little bit disconnected with, like, the average player. Like, it's, it's like, 
I'd run this stuff every single day. I still struggle with it. I don't clear it every single time. Like it's, it just takes devoting your time to it and just being consistent, showing up, failing, being okay with failing. Like you might be frustrated in the moment, but just like be okay with failing and just keep doing it and you will learn, you will get better. And then you will be able to just, you know, transfer that knowledge onto someone else in a more healthy way. And that's kind of how we eliminate this whole, like, you know, learn the content, teach it to people in a healthy way. That's how we eliminate a more talk. That's how we eliminate like the, we even out like the toxic, uh, the typical toxic, um, communication that we have, not just Guild Wars 2, but just in general in gaming. But, um, yeah, I don't know, kind of like a random video, just something that's been on my mind and I kind of wanted to talk about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is stuff that I talk about all the time on stream. So if you'd like to come into stream and talk about it with me and talk about it with chat, then I stream Monday through Thursday. Um, current times are 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, but definitely make sure to check out the Discord, my personal Discord, in the video description to keep up with any updates that may change the schedule. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and feel free to share your comments and your thoughts down below. I am Rayo, and I'll see you next time. Take care.